Using our pre-made layouts with the DV Team Builder is super easy and here's what you need to do. First go to DV Team Builder. Click this button here. It is going to automatically scroll you down to our pre-made layouts and on the left you have filters. Filters help you find the layout that you need. For example if I toggle DV Team Builder and click on the blog post it is going to filter only the single blog post templates for me. I can just pick one of these and press the download button. This is going to download the JSON file to my computer. So these templates can't be directly saved to the DV library. Instead, they are downloaded and imported via DV Team Builder. Now just scroll all the way up and click the portability. Select the import tab and just choose the file that you just downloaded and click the import button. My template is now uploaded and as you can see it is currently unassigned. That means that this template won't show on any pages just yet. So I have to assign it to the pages where I want it to be. For that I'm just going to click the settings button, manage template assignments. It allows me to display this on pages, posts, archive pages and projects and etc. So this is a single blog post so obviously I want to show it on posts, I can click all posts or only a posts in specific categories or perhaps only individual posts. I'm just going to leave it as is and click save. Now I'm just left to press the save changes button so that I save the complete team builder settings changes. And now if I open any post on my website, there you go, I have this template loaded. If I want to make any changes to this template, I'm going to do it right here in inside the DV Team Builder. I can just click the edit button and do my changes there. So to quickly sum up everything, you just want to go to DV Team Builder, find the template that you would like to use, whether it is a blog post, maybe a navigation, search results page and everything we have here, you should just download it, then use the portability to import it. Don't forget to assign it to the pages where you want it to show and make sure to save your changes as a final step. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.